Hello Rebags, it's Jade with a Valheim video today. Don't forget I'm doing my Let's Play every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. But when there is something new to cover, maybe some hot fixes and something I can actually show you guys, I am going to delve into it. So today we're going to go over events. Now I did an event video ages ago, I was one of the first to show you guys hopefully how some things work. But there were some issues with that. Some of the stuff wasn't correct, there were some actual bugs with the game itself, as well as we didn't get enough feedback about exactly what triggered the events. So we're going to revisit that guy today i'm going to show you the changes now or pretty much the fixes where they've got the walls and the fueling now working correctly and if you have missed all of this or you want to know exactly how or what triggers the events the different types of story events and just the enemy events then i'm going to break it all down for you as well as show you how to spawn the events themselves in case you're doing some sort of event or night in with your friends having a bit of fun and seeing maybe how long you can last against waves of enemies so don't forget to like make sure to subscribe for the best in valheim content and let's go now you guys should know how to use the console commands by now they have changed it slightly so go and check out some of that stuff or look it up on the wiki on how to use it but pretty much you got to put hyphen then console commands as the starting parameter on steam to activate cheats and then you can press f5 as you would do normally I've also got debug mode on so I can kill creatures really super quickly. I've done guides on these before and I'm sure you learned. Let's face it, you've probably all cheated a little bit by now. Big props to you if you haven't. Now if you click help in the cheats file, you will be able to see all the cheats. Now if you clearly see it says the event, so we're going to put the event and then we're going to literally start it. So event and then we're going to paste in the army underscore ekfar. And that should be enough to get it started. You can see Ephra rallies the creatures of the forest and here they come. Now you generally should only get this event if you haven't gone and defeated the first boss yet. So this can happen at any time pretty much in the early stages of the game. It's happened to me in my little let's play recently. So yep, this is the first event that you should probably come across while playing the game. It lasts for 90 seconds and it's going to be a mixture of boars and necks just simply attacking you. So it's actually a good thing early game if this actually happens because it means you'll be able to get lots of boar scraps. Which we all know pretty much early game is absolutely annoying trying to find some of these. And supposedly this event will only work in the meadows or the black forest. Okay so the next one is going to be the elders. Pretty much the grey dwarves. The same thing again go ahead and put event type in the elder and the forest is moving now this lasts 120 seconds it's meant to only happen in the meadows the black forest and the swamp plains and you are meant to get a mix of either grey dwarves brutes and shamans the requirement for this is that you've killed the first boss Ekhar but you still haven't actually defeated the elder boss so here's the grey dwarf brutes you get the idea and see you later. And then once it's done, it will be simply the forest rests again. So a foul smell from the swamp, which has draugas and skeletons, otherwise known as the bone mass event, that can actually happen in meadows, black forest, the swamp, the mountains, and the plains. It's pretty much a universal one. Army underscore bone mass, and it should kick in. Would help if I actually did event army bone mass. There we go. So this one lasts 150 seconds and as you can see it gets a bit dark the environment goes pretty foggy and rainy and we're getting ready now to take on attacks from the draugas so again another good one to have really so you can get plenty of bone piles as well as much needed entrails for sausages silver sword is probably going to be one of your best bets in this way i really would like to see some sort of attack involving the fenra that'd be really cool and maybe definitely a water one as well where we'll have more sea serpents coming and attack here. Or maybe we can just have some fish jumping out of the water and uh, giving you a little bit of tiny damage. Even if it was only comical. So I'm just going to rush through it now and just keep killing these as they spawn. Just to show you really how many of these waves you can expect if you're killing them in a relatively good time. Obviously your bases hopefully have better defences. You'll have kill sort of trenches lying around maybe. But you see they do spawn pretty rapidly once you've killed the last ones almost instantaneously so what happens if you leave the red circle well apparently now it will stay there the timer will stick so you have to go back into it and kind of face that timer otherwise it will just pretty much stay there and resume again you see i've come out of the red circle now and now they're just kind of 
running around killing any wildlife they can find. The idea being that they are in hunt mode. As long as you're over 200 meters away from them, they won't be able to see you, so you can kind of creep and hide from them. As soon as you come into that range, the idea being that they should come and get you again. See, the one in the far distance has spotted me and he's running all the way over. Since the last done this as well, it does look like the spawning events have absolutely been triggered now. It's any three pieces of a base structure, so it doesn't have to be just a campfire or just a doorway or just a workbench. And you've got to be within 40 meters of it, any player within 40 meters. That's a 20% chance to spawn one of these events. And as you would imagine, that one is if the Elder has been slain, but Bone Mass has not that's when you'll get that one. It doesn't look like there's any correlation between showing the trophies. That was something that was kind of floated about a bit, that if you have the trophies up or trophies not showing, that can stop it. Apparently there's nothing to do with the trophies. And so the next one is obviously Moda. Simply event, leave a space, army underscore Moda, and we will get the wyverns attacking the mini ones, the drakes. And this is pretty much it. You don't get any of the other creatures, thank the lords. Can you imagine if some big, big ice golem started attacking you. Although maybe that would be cool as another mini event. Maybe after you've killed all bosses and you're maybe adventuring in the snow biome, that could be something that happens. Just to add another little bit of an extra level difficulty. Ah! Even when I'm cheating, I somehow managed to die. Although that does give us the chance to see what happens with an event when you die. So if you run back over, the event's still going on. You can see as soon as you enter in the red, they will pretty much come for you once more. It's just like I said, the event will start over from where you last left it in terms of time left. So this one again does last 150 seconds. Also, you will get the freezing buff hit you without even the drakes attacking you really. You can see it's just been doing damage to me the whole time. The only way to get out of it is by leaving the area. And eventually it will run off. As soon as you step back in the area, it should have the freezing damage hit once more. And there you go. It does take a couple seconds to kick in the freezing damage and the ending of it as well. So that's something to bear in mind. And the cold wind is finally gone. That's meant to kick in after you've defeated Bomas, but you still haven't defeated Moda. And that will happen in the meadows, black forests, the swamps and the plains. Interestingly enough, according to the wiki and a bunch of reddit posts I've seen, it doesn't actually say it works on the mountain biome. So let's give that a quick test. Okay, here we are. Now it does work when you do the cheat yourself in the mountain biome, but I've got a feeling it just means that you can do that command pretty much anywhere or anywhere you want. And just to prove that, I'm going to stop the event. And stop event, you just type in stop event, no spaces, and it will get rid of it. Okay, next up we've got the Goblin Army. So this is one of the events that seems to be bugged or was bugged before, wasn't working correctly. To activate it, just simply to type in event, leave a space, army underscore goblin, and the horde will attack. And you can see it's made out of all of the usual kind of uh, goblins. Fueling, I should call them by their right name. We've got Berserkers, we've got the Shamans, and we've got the normal little ones. Now, this is only meant to last 120 seconds, and supposedly it will only work in the meadows, the black forest, and the plains, so not the swamp. And you'll only get this one if you've defeated Modar, but you still have yet not defeated Yagluf. And here they come again, lining up nicely, and see you later. So currently, they are all the world event bosses that will usually happen based on what boss you've killed. That's the only acquirement, and that seems to be the only reasoning about what you'll get. Now to address a little bit of confusion about players saying they've never killed things like the troll, or they've never killed certain creatures, they can't understand why they get any events. The world only has to record one single death. Now remember, the mobs do fight each other, so if you've got maybe a black forest on the borders of a mountain, the chances are that troll might have been killed by other creatures while you were just passing by. It's rare, but it can happen, and that does explain why you get events even though you've not done the action. So it's pretty simple. If you don't want the easiest one to happen, Ekar, then you've got to go and defeat him, pretty much. If you don't want the Grey Dwarves to attack you, then you've got to go and defeat, obviously, the Elder God. 
And obviously for the same reason, be careful with who you invite to your server. If they go and kill one of the creatures, that means that world now has it there. Now if somehow you're defeating the bosses in different order, that may interrupt or make some of the events spawn differently. And also it's tied to the world and not the character. So if you are joining a friend's server, which the problem I had when I did have a server running, was everyone had completed the game pretty much without me. And so when I first spawned in or started messing around, I was facing some of the hardest, toughest spawn horde waves ever. So that's something else to think about if you are renting your own server or doing something or hosting your own server, that new players may need a little bit of extra help. Now we move on to the enemy based events. Now these are going to happen when you kill certain creatures and you can't get rid of these. It doesn't matter what you do in terms of killing other creatures or other bosses. So the event skeletons is going to spawn in skeleton surprise. This can happen in the meadows, the black forest, the swamp, the plains and the mistlands and it will last 120 seconds. You'll also get the rancid remains spawning with these guys as well. Now the trigger for this is meant to be if Bowmass has been slain. So you shouldn't be having any of these. If you do, report it in the bug section. Just bear in mind what I said. Make sure you're not playing on a server that has already done some of this stuff. But if you're facing the Skeleton Surprise and you haven't defeated Bowmass, I think that's probably worthy of reporting as a bug. Again, just make sure you're not using any sort of mods. So this event keeps on spawning creatures. If you're not killing them, you will end up with like over 20 skeletons and rancids following you. But we'll get rid of them just like that. And there we go, that's the event over. So the next event listed is the Blob Swamp, but apparently that's not working right now. It's meant to happen in the meadows, the black forest, the swamp plains, but it looks like it's been disabled. So after that, we've got the Forest Trolls. And this is how you get attacked by these bad boys. I'm just going to run around and see what happens if I don't bother trying to kill them. I think it might be limited just to the two. Now this one, supposedly, it will only spawn if you have killed a troll and the elder has been killed. So if you've managed to kill a troll but you still haven't defeated the elder, these shouldn't be spawning. They've got a chance of spawning in the meadows, the black forest, the swamp and the plains, but it only lasts for 80 seconds. I'm guessing that's because they are obviously massively overkill. Now I've shown this off before, they will really go for your base if you just ignore it, they are going to go and try and attack your base. So it does seem implausible that one of these guys has been killed by other creatures without you realising it. And remember enemies aren't really meant to spawn in the world unless you're close by, but it is maybe explaining what's happening, why some people are reporting these events happening. And there you go, it's pretty much over and done with. So it might be worth trying to kite them away from your base. Now the next one is Wolves. Now this is only meant to work in the mountain and the plains biome. I do believe this is one of the ones that wasn't working correctly. You are being hunted. Let's uh, jump up on top of this rock. And there we go. We've got a few Wolves now. So far just the two. No, there we go. Four. Any more? That's maybe not too bad. Oh no, six of them. This is meant to last 120 seconds to 2 minutes. But this one is actually always active, so there is a chance that you could get this at any time. So whenever you venture into the mountains or the plains, be careful as this could be an event that happens. There you go, took care of them ones. And then the last one is meant to happen, meadows, black forest, swamp and plains, it is the Sirtlings. For this one to occur, you have to have killed one of the Sirtlings and bone mass, supposedly again, and it should last two minutes. Now I can see this one being triggered easily because Sirtlings pretty much die as soon as they go in a bit of water. So it wouldn't take too long for one of these to die if you're just going through the swamps. Now quite a few will spawn by the looks of it. This is another one that's going to last at least two minutes. And literally going over the last few bits of info from the wiki, like I said some of the reddit posts I read this morning, pretty much building a big base, a wide base across these spots can stop some of these creatures from spawning. So they may be spawning much further out or you may just actually not get many events. So it's not a guarantee, I wouldn't necessarily say go and just make a huge platform of foundations across a massive space that might not necessarily stop them still, but it might change exactly where they go. When they're in hunt mode for these events, it's meant to be trying to find you within 200 meters. That's why if you can get away from them quickly enough, they will kind of leave you alone. But you will have to return eventually and try and deal with them. 
And there we go, that's just a revisit to a guide I've done with a little bit more clarification from the community and with the help of the wiki alongside the fixes that now mean the wolves and the feudings now actually work correctly. There may be some anomalies still, there may still be issues where some of these aren't working as intended, but hopefully we've explained a little bit more about some of them reasons why. So yeah, any more news, any changes with these, I'll let you guys know. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.